Hello everyone. How are you? I hope you are fine. I am teacher Shamila Nair from SK Pendidikan Khas Jalan Pil, Kuala Lumpur. And to sign my name SL. Pupils, today we will be again discussing English Paper 2, Section B, but different type of question. Now, let's spell this first. E M A I L how to sign this? Yes, you got it right. It's email and e email. Pupils, today we are not going to learn how to send emails, but how to write an email according to the UPSR format. Before we start, I have two reminders here. First, for those who are wearing hearing aids, please check on your aid. Is the battery good? And Please switch it on. Next, everyone, please get your notebook ready with you as well as your SEE or ASL book. Not forgetting your stationery. Now, I would like to do a simple finger exercise with you. Open your fingers like this and start pulling it one by one. This is to warm up your fingers before learning. Easy, right? can do this whenever you want to. Before getting into the lesson, I would like you to know the objectives today. At the end of the lesson, you should be able to Write sentences, simple, compound, and complex, based on the given points. Write an email with correct format, based on the given information. I will surely guide and help you to achieve these objectives. Pupils, I am sure you are familiar with the format of an email. Here is an example of an email. Dearies, before we see the question and discuss the answer, Let's do some revision on the, yes, content. I will be discussing on the usual details you can use in the writing. This is not only for email, but you can use anywhere which is suitable. 
The first one is place, venue, or location. So, if you have to write about any of these points, your reason shall be it is near to you or me or us. Choose one. I have a better one. It is just a stone throw away from my or your or our house. Again, choose one. The next, if it is about date or day or time. So, we can write I, you or we will be free on that day or at that time. Now, let's see for the point, price or fee or fair. This is about money pupils. So easy. Remember this. I, you or we can afford it or it is affordable. Choose one. Next is for the point discount or offer. So if these words are in the information, then we can say like this. The discount or offer is a great deal. And the last point we are going to discuss is for the point about prizes or gift. Everybody likes prizes and gifts, right? So, we can write like this. The prizes or gifts are interesting, simple and easy. Peoples, there are so many other points here. Now, you see and take a picture of it for your revision later. Do now. Done. Alright. Pupils, let's get to the question now. Let's read it together. Your friend wants to join the cupcake eating contest. She asked you to get her the information about the contest. Write an email to her regarding the contest. You may include details or any other useful information. Write your email between 50 and 80 words. So now, from the question, what are the information we can get? Think and guess. Yes, it is the sender, receiver, some more, the title, and the content. Correct. So now, let's fill in the sender's column. Please write your friend's name there. No, wait, it's wrong. 
it is not your friend's name. You have to write your name with at gmail.com or at yahoo.com or any other email web. And now the receivers column. You have to refer the question to see who you need to send the email. From the question today, it is stated that the email need to be sent to your friend. Where I saw that? Yes, here. Now the subject. For those who knows, you can fill in. And for those who doesn't know, let me show you. You see the one I have highlighted? It is always in the question. Remember, that is the tips for you to find the title in the question. But here, we have to change a little bit. We can't write regarding the contest. We have to write the name of the contest like this. Information about Cupcake Eating Contest. Then, the date and time is filled here. So now, we move to the content. We shall start with Dear Salma or we can use a name, but a girl's name because it is stated she in the question. Then we start with the introduction. The introduction can be like this. I would like to continue. There are many other introduction sentences such as Hi, I am keen to tell you about then continue or I am very excited to share with you about then you continue. It's up to you. You can choose anything. To continue the sentence, use the word from the question. It will be easier. You see the picture here. Find the format words. Maybe an email, letter, or speech, or any others. Then you cut the word to after the format word. The others are the one you have to copy until the full stop. You see here. But again, we have to change a little bit. Just change the word her to you and the word the contest to the cupcake eating contest. Easy, right? And this is the sentence we will get. 
I would like to tell you about the cupcake eating contest. So now we have to write according to the information given. Okay, let's see the first information here. Always remember to write these three important information. The venue, which is the place. Then what? Yes, the date and the time. For the venue, we must add the word at, at, at. For the date, add the word on, o and on. And for the time, add the word at. So let's make the sentence now. We can start the sentence with the word it, which means what? Yes, this means the cupcake eating contest. We don't have to repeat. As we have already mentioned about the contest, we don't have to tell again and again. Don't use the same word again. But we can change it to it. And our sentence will be It will be held at the community hall on 20th May 2021 at 9 a.m. I combined all the information and didn't write the hall's name because I want to reduce the number of words. We can combine all this information into one sentence. Now we can add a reason here like this. Usually, for a date or day or time, we can say, I am sure you will be free at this date or day or time. Choose one. If it's only for venue, the place, then you can say it's just a stone throw away from your house, which means it is very near. Remember pupils, if you are not sure or you forgot, please do not continue. But just write it is near for you. Done. So, for this question here, I would write like this. It's on a Saturday and you can join. Short and simple. Now, let's see what is other interesting information. I would choose to write about the entry fee. I have an idea here. You see my sentence first. The entry fee is RM10. But if you win the contest, you can get from RM50 to RM150. Why I didn't write the prizes one by one like this? 
The first price is RM150. The second price is RM100. And the third price is RM50. Why? Yes, clever! Because it is too long. Don't forget the number of words. So, how to choose which information to combine? Easy! You see the RM here and here. Just join them. RM and RM. Next, if you see this kind of information, write it. Plus point here. It is said the money will be donated, right? So, let's write the sentence by adding some interesting words. How? I write like this. Do you know the money from this contest will be donated to the Mercy Orphanage? So, let's participate and donate. Okay, the word do you know is a question, right? So, I have added a question mark at the end of the sentence because it is a question. So, now we are reaching towards the end of the writing. Don't forget to end it with See you soon. Or let's discuss this later. Or any other closing idea. And add the word bye. B Y E. Bye. And with your name at the left corner. Done. So now let's read the email we have written. Dear Salma, I would like to tell you about the cupcake eating contest. It will be held at the community hall on 20th May 2021 at 9 a.m. It's on a Saturday and you can join it. The entry fee is RM10 but if you win the contest you can get from RM50 to RM150. Do you know the money from this contest will be donated to the Mercy Orphanage. So, let's participate and donate. See you soon. Bye! Pupils, this is the email for today's question. Quickly, take a picture of it so you can see and read it later. So pupils, we are done for the day. I hope today's lesson gave you an idea to write with good content. Please do read a lot so that you will have more vocabularies or words to write and expand your idea. If you don't have enough vocabularies or you have no idea, then it will be hard for you. 
So, I believe you will follow my advice, follow the guide, and you can do it. That's all for today. Till then, see you and stay safe. Bye!